Hi, this is a script I created for DaVinci Resolve that automatically generates subtitles for your project in your own custom style. It uses OpenAI's Whisper on the back end, but everything runs locally on your computer and it's completely free to use. I just generated these subtitles and I'll give you a little sample. So here's my weather app. You can type in a city like Dublin, for example, and when you click get weather, it will use the geolocation API. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. The first thing you need to do is go to titles and drag a text plus object onto the timeline. This is going to be your template for the subtitles. So you can customize it to your liking. You can add an outline and a shadow and move it down to the bottom of the screen. Okay, so now that you've customized your template, you're going to drag that into the media pool and delete it from the timeline. Now that it's in the media pool, it can be accessed by the script and used to create the subtitles. To open the script, you just need to go to Workspace, Scripts, and find Auto Subs in the list. It might take a second to open the script, but don't worry, it can just be a bit slow sometimes. Before clicking Generate Subtitles, you need to mark the area you want to subtitle. I'm going to mark this area here. To do that, I'm going to go to the beginning and click I on my keyboard and then I'm going to go to the end and click O on my keyboard. Now that we've selected the area we want to subtitle, we can just hit generate subtitles. It will switch to the deliver page and render the audio. Once it's rendered the audio, it will move on to transcribing that audio into text. Don't be afraid if it opens this terminal for a few seconds. That's just OpenAI Whisper doing its thing. If you want to see more granular updates, you can open the terminal. As you can see here, it says percentage until completion. Once the transcription is finished, it will switch back to the editing timeline and add all of the subtitles. As you can see, the subtitles have been created. So here's my weather app. You can type and create the days that it's raining for. You can also see the subtitles in the navigator here and you can jump to each subtitle. It will move the playhead to its position on the timeline. If you make any changes to these subtitles on the timeline, you can click refresh and it will show these changes in the viewer. If you want to remove all of the changes you've made to the subtitles on the timeline, then you can click revert all changes and it will re-add the subtitles. To install the script, you're going to want to go to the GitHub repository linked in the description. On this page, it has a guide on how to use the script and how to install it. I've tried to make the setup as simple as possible, but I only have a Windows machine. So if you're on Mac or Linux, you'll have to follow the manual setup guide. If you're on Windows, however, I've created a handy PowerShell script that will install everything in one command. All you have to do is search for PowerShell and click run as administrator. Then you need to copy this command, paste it in PowerShell, and then hit enter on your keyboard. It will install and set up everything. Because I already have everything installed, it's a lot faster for me, but it might take a little while for you. You can see here, installation complete. Now, if we go back to resolve, you should be able to access it in the scripts menu, as you can see here. If you don't see it in the scripts menu, open this folder and check that the autosubs.py file is here. If it's not there, you can download it from the GitHub and place it in this directory. It's been a while since I made the last tutorial and the script has changed a lot since then. So I thought I'd make an updated tutorial. Everything you need to install the script should be on the GitHub linked in the description. And if you have any questions, you can join the Discord also linked in the description. I think I'll upload a code breakdown of the script soon for anyone who wants to make their own Resolve scripts because I think it would be helpful. The Resolve documentation, especially for Fusion, is basically non-existent and it's very confusing to navigate, so I think that video might be helpful. Anyway, that's it from me. See ya.